Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my October favorites. So let's start out in beauty products. Um, well, I guess more makeup products because a lot of these products are beauty products. Um, one thing I've been using a lot is the Cindy Luminizer. When I first got this, I was kind of unsure. I do have the Mary Luminizer, which I like a lot, which is like a champagne gold highlight. But as you can see, this is like a rose gold. And for me, it is a little bit darker than my skin tone and it shows up not really as a highlight for me. So I was like, oh, that's kind of disappointing. Um, but one thing that I've been using this a lot for is to actually top off blushes because it gives it a nice, it's not like as shimmery as the Mary Luminizer, so it kind of just gives a nice satin finish. So this I've been using is kind of like a blush topper if I want to make it a little more kind of like a rose gold. I have three eyeshadows. One is Makeup Geek Bitten. I've been using this a lot. I'm wearing it even today. Um, it's just a really pretty burgundy color that's very red, so I really like it. I really like red around the eye area if you're careful with it, and this one because it leans a little more burgundy is a lot easier to wear. Another one from Makeup Geek is Makeup Geek Unexpected. I really like this color. I wear it as an eyeshadow, but I also wear it as a blush sometimes, and occasionally top it over like stone lip liner. I just really like this color. It's the beautiful kind of gray lilac mauve color and I just really like this. It works great as a transition color too. And then lastly is Handwritten by MAC. This is a matte, very deep brown color and I really like this color just because it works great for if you want a more smoky eye, if you just want a little more definition in the crease, you can wear it like just as almost a liner. I really like this and it's one of their matte squared like textures and those are my favorite textures for matte. So I have two eyeliners. The first one is the NARS Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner and this is in the color Via de Martelli. And it's just a very nice like chocolate brown color. I really like this to line the waterline. That's actually what I have on today. It's more so it gives you that definition that black liner on the waterline gives you but it's not quite as harsh and so I like that since I have a little more fair skin and it really makes my blue eyes pop so I think this is a nice alternative to black on the waterline and another one I use on my waterline is the Sigma this is their final touch in a room brightener this is really nice um, normally I use something that's a little more on the nude side but this is nice because it's a little more on the kind of pinky nude so it almost looks like I'm not wearing something on my inner rim. So this is pretty nice. The downside to this is you kind of want to either use a Q-tip to dry the area or it doesn't last a super long time. You're going to get about like four to five hours of wear. I really like this. I've been kind of switched up my mascara. I worn the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black for years and years and years and years. Um, and that's still my probably my favorite. But I've been wearing kind of lighter lashes. I've when I'm doing looks that aren't super bold and dramatic, I'm opting for something that's a little more lighter, fluffier, not quite so long lash wise. So I'm really liking the Maybelline Full on Soft. Um, it's the waterproof formula. I pretty much always wear waterproof mascara. And this one's just really nice. As you can see, it has that kind of fluffy wand that's gonna give you a lot of volume, but it doesn't clump to your lashes. So it gives you that kind of like more like fluffy, fluttery lash look. So this is really nice, especially if you do like just one coat, it just basically just makes your lashes look like you're not wearing mascara and you just have great lashes. So if you like a little more on a natural side for mascara, where you like that kind of fluttery look, check this out. All right, so I have two lip products this time. One is the Bite Beauty. This is one of their BB cream ones. And this one's in Tawny. This color is surprising because I was first just using it as lip balm just because as you can see it's pretty like it's not very dramatic and then if I swatch it for you as you can see it's really sheer. Um, so at first I was just using it as like lip balm and it worked great for that. So this is a really nice alternative because I don't always wear lipstick all the time during the day. I mean I wear it for videos and for my Instagram and if I'm going out but if it's like I'm just going to the store or something, I'm probably not still wearing my lip color if I've eaten a meal since then. So this is a nice thing that gives my lips a little bit of color. It also has SPF, but at the same time, it's not like a lip color that I have to like maintain basically. So that's really easy and it's great if you like a more natural look too. So this is if you don't like a natural look. Um, this is Pretty Zombies. 
um, one of their liquid to matte lipsticks and this is in the color black cat it is a pure black lipstick I really actually really like this um, their like time that it t says it on their website is longer than I actually got it but all that aside the product was great even though it was like kind of weird and I was like am I gonna get my lipstick but their product is really nice it's liquid to matte it's very comfortable on the lips which is kind of surprising I have one of the Kat Von D's as well as the Stila's and I find those quite drying um, definitely something you want to wear a primer with but this is really nice and it's something that is very easy to touch up so it doesn't get like nasty when you try to put a second layer on um, I have a pair of lashes this is from Carousel Cosmetics um, they contacted me and sent me these because this is a brand out of Europe so I hadn't heard of these before and I've been really digging the style iris as you can see I've cut the ends off because they're a little too long for my eyes but they're just these really nice fluttery lashes that are a little bit longer on the outside and I like that extended look so these are really pretty and they look really natural so I have five tools this month um, one thing is the tweezer man tweezers I lost these for a couple days and that's when I realized I was like oh man I use these a lot this is great because if I have a stray like eyebrow hair that needs fixing and I really like these to apply my lashes with so I really like these because they're really easy to like pluck hairs with because they're pretty sharp and they have that angle and they're great for popping on your lashes. Another one is the Tweezer Man. Oh, I have two Tweezer Man. This is not sponsored guys. Um, another Tweezer Man. This is just their eyelash curler. I don't like I don't think there's anything special. It's just one of their curlers. Um, I broke one of my curlers when I was in Oregon this last time. So I needed a new one and I bought the Shiseido one and it did a great job curling and the curl held really well but I have to do it in like two steps because it was too shallow for my eye shape. So I got this one and this actually like I can do it all in one go. It fits my eyes. They're a little bit more like I guess deep set, rounded, whatever. They're, there's a little too much of a convex here for me to fit the other ones but this one fits under my orbital bone pretty well. So I really like these and these give a nice curl. And they came with extra little replacement pads, which was nice. Um, so I have three brushes. One is the Sigma F60. This is just a like flat foundation brush. And I've been using this a lot more lately just because I've been kind of going in between wearing a lighter foundation or I'm wearing like a much more full coverage. Um, I'm pretty much always still wearing my makeup forever. It's just how I apply it. So sometimes I'm using like a kabuki brush and really buffing it and going really light. But I like this as an option if I want to wear a little more coverage. So this is really nice. These brushes were ones that I received from Sigma lately. And these weren't ones that I had originally grabbed when I got Sigma brushes a couple years ago. But these are pretty cool. This is the Diffuse Crease and this is an E38. I really like this because... I have their E40, but the E40 is pretty massive on my eyes. So I really like this because I can actually like blend kind of just this crease color rather than blending from basically the crease to my brow with one brush. So this is really nice because I can apply color or blend with it. And then there's also the highlight diffuser, which is the E71. And I'm not really using this ever to diffuse my highlight. Um, when brushes tell you they're made for something, you don't have to listen. So I really like this for basically doing like blending under my eyes and like the edges and making sure all the edges of my color are really smooth and I have a nice transition. So that's what I use that for, not highlights. I have one fragrance favorite. So you know when you like order from Sephora and then if you pick a sample and then it's out, they send you something different? Well, I keep getting so many of these Elizabeth James Nirvana white ones. So I have quite a few of these little like pre-made samples, but I've really been digging this. I ran out of one and now I'm using my other sample and I really like it because it has some peony and it also has, it's like a peony kind of musky scent. And I'm not always a big fan of peony because I can find it to be pretty like overwhelmingly floral, but this one actually sits really nice on my skin. So this is something I think I'm gonna actually go by the full size of because I've been obsessed with this this month. If, I guess I'm gonna put this as like nail care and go this with like my nail products. Um, these are just like round cotton wipes. I don't really know, I guess not cotton. They're like round cotton browns, not wipes. They're just cotton. Um, this is something that's probably really stupid to have as a favorite, but it's my favorite, so whatever. 
Um, I have been wearing a lot more nail polish lately. Like, my nails are actually painted in my videos, and so I don't look gross. Um, but I've been wearing also darker colors, especially the month before and this month. And this is just so much easier to take off your nail polish because it's not a cotton ball. And so I can, like, hold it on my nail and, like, pull it off instead of, like, getting nail polish that's still, like, colored, mixed with acetone all over my hands. So these are just really handy. Um, I have two polishes. One is the NARS. There, I have no idea how to say this. I'm just going to put it on the screen. It's, like, the Zakynos. Um, nail polish, it's just this kind of nudish color. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone, but I don't think it looks bad at all. I currently have it on right now with two other polishes over it, but I really like this for either layering with glitter or wearing alone just because it's that really kind of muted plain color, and I really like either really dark colors or like your nails almost look like they're bare colors. So I have another nail polish, and this is Star Tar, and this is by Octopus Nail Party. And this is just a really pretty, it's like, the color of the actual polish is kind of a, like a transparent black. And then there's silver glitter, black glitter, or there's like silver larger glitter, and then it's like silver and black micro glitter. So it's really fun. I have it on top of that other color, plus a pink glitter on my nails right now. But this is really fun. And the big thing I like about this, and maybe it's just because it has glitter and like I never really played with polishes before, but it stays on my nails really long. Like I painted my nails like five days ago and normally like after like three days my nails are chipped because I don't know, I have really weak nails. So I'm digging those polishes. I have one hair care. Um, I ran out of a couple different hair care products this last month. And since I don't do a lot with my hair and I've been trying to kind of be nicer to my hair lately, I decided I would switch things up and just kind of try a couple new products. And then if I don't like them as much, I can always go back to the other ones I liked. So I'm using this Frizz Ease Daily Nourishment Leave-In Conditioner, and this is by John Frieda. And I really like this because it does a better job than a couple other ones that I've tried in actually detangling my hair. And that's really nice because my hair is really thin and I just try really hard to not break it. So my hair feels a lot nicer and it's really easy to detangle with that. My last October favorite is the Matilda's brand. Vanilla Rubio's tea. This is absolutely delicious. Um, I was in Oregon last month and I really I was in Oregon I was in Oregon last month and my sister and our friend Mandy headed up to Sisters Oregon where we used to live and went to Sisters Coffee Company, which was my all-time favorite coffee company, and they had this, and this is so good. It's a loose tea, which I don't really care. I'll get them in bag or loose tea, whatevs. And it's just so yummy. It's, I mean, it's a sweeter tea. It tastes really good. I'll drink it plain, but it's also really good if you put sugar and milk in it. And yeah, I'm obsessed with it. And it's decaffeinated, so I can drink it whenever I want and I won't be up all night. And that's pretty much it. I don't really have any other favorites for this month. I have one other one, but I can't tell you until next month. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I will post all my social media in the down box below as well as at the end of the video if you want to keep in touch. Um, tweet at me or email me if you have any questions because those are the quickest ways for me to get back to you. And I will hopefully see you guys again soon.